everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Chotty and today we're going to, I'm making me some soup. But the neat thing about this soup, all the ingredients that are going to be, just about all of them, uh, are going to be made with uh, dehydrated food, vegetables, whatever you want to call it, okay? And the only thing that I'm going to actually have fresh, but I'll freeze my uh, garlic cloves. I also do powder, but I also freeze them. And I really, really, really nice because it doesn't take very long to actually, I like a lot of garlic. <laughs> and I make it, you know, I don't make, I'm making just a small pot here. I think this is about, oh, what is it called? What? It doesn't tell you, how about that? Anyway, it's a little one. I'm not making a big pot, it's just for me. So. I'm gonna put some garlic, which I froze. Also some green onions, which also I froze. And the rest of it is gonna be dehydrated, okay? And even though this is uh, frozen, don't worry, the cut's pretty good. So I like that. You can just leave it, you know, a couple of minutes out, and then, but you can. And I mean, yeah, I'm almost trying to mush. <laughs> okay. I do have one of those uh, garlic presser, but I'm a fashion girl. And actually, I like to do mine this way. I don't want them that fine anyway, so. Alrighty. And it goes, goes to my pot. I don't measure anything, by the way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put just a, a handful of uh, my green onions. You know, maybe a few more. I like onions. And I just put those back in the freezer. By the way, I am growing green onions out of the little, I cut them about an inch, left the roots, and they're coming up. I'll show them to you in my video, okay? Alrighty, so now let's hit the fun of it. Uh, this here is dry zucchini and yellow squash. So they're already sliced. Like I said, I'm just gonna put a handful. It's just for me, and they might even have more than I need, but anyway. I want some corn. All of this dehydrated, folks. I just put a little bit of corn. I don't want too much. Okay. I like shallots too, so Ch shallots is, is really good. And I'll put a little bit of shallots. I like to keep sometimes a little paper uh, towel on there because it has the little uh, oxygen little, you know, thingies here, but uh, it keeps them a little drier, so. Now, of course, I want some potatoes. <laughs> and these are my dehydrated potatoes that I cubed. And I will have a video on how to do this. I just don't have time right now with all the stuff that's going on in my life. But, uh, yes, as soon as I can, I will, I promise. Alrighty. I want peas. So, we're going to have some peas in there. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, and I want green beans. These are my dehydrated green beans, and you think, my goodness, but when you get it done, those are the little uh, French beans. They're awesome, and I, dehi I dehydrate them, and um, yeah, when they're cooked, you cannot even tell. They're just like, you know, so but right now, they're kind of dark. I'm just going to get some in there. I need to make me more because I'm running low. And you can cook this as you would do, you know, regular green beans also, so no problem. Okay, I have some uh, dry dehydrated tomatoes. I'm gonna put some in there too. These are the, uh, these are actually a grew, and they're really good, you can eat them. Mmm, crunchy, put them in your salad. But also, I like to put them in my pot, and my soups. 
So, oh, they're so good. The flavor of it is just so intense. You know, it's more wonderful. Okay, let's see what else I did not put in there. Oh, carrots. My carrots. <coughs> I like carrots and they're thin. There we go. And this has been, it's been done since last year. I mean, if you process them right, no problem. Okay, what else am I gonna have in here? I think I've done all this. But you know, I bought this uh, California sun-dry tomatoes. It's awesome. Uh, I just bought it at Marshall's, I think. But the taste of them, it is so good. So I had a little bit and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put that in my soup too. Let me get a spoon. And we're gonna put it right there. Ooh, all of it. And it's got olive oil and some spices. It's gonna be perfect. I do believe that's about all I got out. I have more stuff, but I thought that would be enough. So, here it is all dried up. Okay? And I'm go ahead and, and put it on a whole thing of a chicken broth. If I need more water, more liquid, I'll add a little water later. And I usually do, I usually will use uh, bottled water because this water where I live is horrible. If I'm gonna eat it, I want something good. So anyway, I'm gonna use the whole thing of chicken broth, okay? And as it cooks, and I know there's gonna need a little more liquid than I'll add the water. I don't like to do it right away. Yum, yum. And see already, kinda kinda looks really good, actually. I don't want, I wanted a, veg, a vegetable soup today. I don't want anything else. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra, a little bit more of uh, just olive oil. This is extra virgin. And that's the only one I buy. A little salt and pepper. Okay. Let me do it this way, because I like to do it. Yeah. I can always eat more if I need to. I really have less than more. And pepper, I just put it in there, whatever it is. Oh, I know what I have too. I have a a frozen jalapeno. Hold on just a second. I bought a bunch of them one time and I didn't have time to cook them so I decided to just have them, you know, get the seeds out and they're ready to go. And they're frozen but I don't care. I'm gonna put the whole jalapeno. Ooh, that smells good. And even though it's frozen, see, I can go ahead and, well, easy said and done, right? There we go. There we go. I don't mind the chunks a bit or small or large, but it gives a good flavor. And there we go. All right, everything I need is in there right now. So I'm gonna cook it, put it on the stove, and actually I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. And once it's, it's in uh, boils, then I'm gonna turn it down and just simmer until it's done. And I really don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'll let you know, okay?